I teach acting, the skill and technique and process of acting, and it's very specific. I'm gonna talk about that ad infinitum tonight. Um, we'll talk about what is acting, how you approach acting. Mostly tonight is about teaching you that you don't know that you didn't know. And I'm hoping that at the end of the class or this workshop, you go, holy shit, I didn't know that I didn't know that. And then now you can go figure out how to know it. Because I feel like most actors are woefully ignorant. I'm gonna be completely opinionated. My opinions are correct. <laughs> <clears throat> but I'm gonna rattle your cages a little bit because there's a lot of people who call themselves actors who just aren't actors. You know these monologue contests? Holy shit, actors are bad. Like really bad. So there's a hundred auditions I have to watch. And I'm telling you like seven are good out of the 100. The bottom 10, the bottom 20 are insane. Like you're like, have you ever had a conversation with a human being? Have you ever watched any television? Do you not like, human beings don't do those things? Like, so that's just, I don't really know what planet you came from, that's fine. And then there's the top seven, let's be generous and say 10, that like they, they get it. They understand surrender, they understand analysis, they understand the two conversations of a scene, they understand counterpoint, playing against, they understand the flow and the architecture of a scene and how to make it exciting and spontaneous all while it's being orchestrated. Like they get what we do for a living. And then there's the, there's the hey, come on in, there's like 80, 70%. It's just boring. Like you don't get it. Like you don't really understand what we do. And it infuriates me. Like it infuriates me, not the person that doesn't know how to get it. What infuriates me is that they're not getting the education in order to get it. There's like a gap between what's happening, what Adam Driver is doing. Have you guys watched Andor? It came out today. The shit is so fresh. Have you been watching Andor? Oh, it's so good. Like it's so good. Like you don't need to like Star Wars, but oh my God, it's fucking genius. So I went nuts over Eben Moss Backrack, who's an actor I've never heard of, who I was like, who the fuck is that? And he's in two episodes and he's a genius. And then, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Gollum, what's his name? Oh, Andy Serkis. Andy Serkis, it's so good. Like, and then, you know, the guy, Diego, whatever, Luna, is so good. There was, like the acting is so good. And when I mean so good, I mean it's alive and vibrant and it's connected to the script and everything fits for something else and the whole thing always has a flow and the actors are never making fucking choices. They're not making fucking choices. Fuck you, that's not your job. They're doing the script. They're choosing to do the script correctly and everything's exciting and moves and means something. It's so fucking good. You've got to watch Adam Driver on stage. You'll watch Adam Driver on stage and go, oh, oh, that's what acting is, you know? What acting is today is not what acting was. You know who's amazing? Daniel Radcliffe. Harry Potter is the greatest, he's so good. So I saw him in um, Lifespan of a Fact. I saw him in uh, Woman in Black. I saw him in um, uh, uh, with uh, Alan Cumming. It was insane. And you just go, holy crap, I'm gonna work forever to try to attain that. Have you guys watched Mark Rylance? Mark Rylance is the greatest actor alive. Viola Davis, Mark Rylance. I just, is there a movie with the two of them? If there is, I would just watch that the rest of my life. <laughs> so these actors know what they're doing, like they're really doing it. And the work today is something special. We're going somewhere with this work. We're speaking something, we're telling something to the world and the world is changing. So for God's sakes, am I really starting this way? For God's sakes, Stella Adler's dead and she was wrong. For she was right for 1950, but she's not right for 2022. And Meisner's dead and he was wrong about almost everything he taught. And Meisner is really dangerous because it teaches a conflict oriented, fear, greed, sense of behavior that's not actually what human behavior is. They lived in an era, they lived in the 20th century. Is anybody in my age category? I grew up in the 20th century, I grew up in the 70s, right? What a shitty century. Like two world wars, a depression, like, like endless amounts of racism and, and uh, genocides and the Vietnam War and no wonder they were angry. They were so angry, so they taught angry. But the whole point is compassion. The whole point is compassion. The whole point is for me to reach out to you compassionately. And we do a scene with passion and compassion so that we can then reach out to somebody who's living in New Jersey and, and, I know there's, and like reach out to some schmuck in New Jersey at two in the morning who's watching TV and he's insomniac because he's got so much anxieties. And you do something on your TV screen that makes him go, oh God, me too, oh. And then they have a moment of experience of life. Like that's what it's about, right? It's all about compassion, it's not about conflict. And actors are, are taught to come at it with conflict. No, it's not, it's not. 
It's, I love you, let's try to get this work out. Now my objective ends up going against your objective and we clash in our scenes. But conflict's not the point, compassion is the point. 